Welcome back everybody. Today we're going over another set of hearing protection, uh, electronic hearing protection. This one is the Peltor Tactical Sports. Now these ones are extremely popular out there. They're certainly not uh, budget priced, but they're not priced so exorbitantly that, uh, you know, people can't afford them, regular folks out there. So uh, I checked this morning on uh, a bunch of different sites and generally they're going to go anywhere from $90 to $120, um, which is sort of expensive for sure. But um, if you take a look at some of the higher end stuff, that's, you know, three, $400, it's not that outrageous and you get a lot of those same features. So I guess what those features are specifically is what we're going to get into next. The controls here on the Ear Pro are over here on the right hand side and if you take a look it's pretty simple interface here. Here's our power button uh, to turn the volume up, to turn the volume down and uh, when you turn it on it's pretty simple you just press and hold and listen. That beeping sound will let you know it's on. It'll be on for four hours, it does have a auto shut off but during that four hours if at any time you hit either one of these buttons it will increase it another four hours. So if you're worried about that, just kind of bump it every now and then, and you shouldn't really have to worry about it. However, um, a nice feature on it that we can't wait four hours here to show you is that when it actually gets ready to, to uh, engage the auto shut off, it beeps a few times, uh, a few minutes before it's actually gonna go off, so that way you're aware and you know that it's coming. So it does give you a second just to hit the button to manipulate it and extend it another four hours. Uh, to turn it off, it's equally simple. Just press and hold and you get a different tone and you know your unit's off. On the opposite side here we have our battery compartment to access it. You're just going to pull down here and you can pull up and remove your uh, external piece of your ear cup and it'll reveal the circuitry as well as two AAA batteries that'll give you an estimated 600 hours of battery life. The headband here is made of a rubber type material and it's actually relatively comfortable. I know some folks like to put a band over these, a padded band for added comfort. By all means, if that's what you want to do, that's just fine. I haven't found the need to do so though. Um, really, it feels pretty good and uh, it's flexible. Holds them on your head really tight and uh, you can still fold them up into a relatively small package and just chuck them in your range bag if you want to get them out of the way. You've seen the headset here in all black throughout the review, however, uh, it does come with a orange one that you can replace for those of you guys that are going to be using these for hunting and want to ensure visibility out there. These do have an audio input jack, so that way you can uh, listen to music or the radio um, when you're out there hunting or mowing the lawn, whatever you may be, and you're still getting the uh, sound protection level that you wouldn't get from just regular earphones. The only thing that I see as a real potential con for these is the noise reduction rating. The noise reduction rating is only 20, so um, if you guys are shooting really loud, uh, rifles or maybe even short barrel shotguns or something like that, uh, that noise reduction rating really isn't going to fully protect you, at least not from sustained fire. I mean, one or two shots, yeah, it'll be just fine. Um, but if you're out there, you know, shooting repetitively on a range, you may want to wear earplugs as well as these, just because those some of these rifles and shotguns can be really, really loud. Um, that said, one of the great things about having electronic hear protect, hearing protection is that even if you wear plugs, you can turn your amplification up, the sound level up here really loud, and you'll actually hear still hear relatively well because the you know the ambient sounds around you will be amplified and uh, one thing that's really nice about these as well in terms of amplifying sound is that these uh, microphones here are directional so a lot of you know sub $200 sets of hearing protection that's not something that you're going to get but you get it here and it does work as advertised when you hear a sound it you do know exactly what direction it's coming from just like you would if you weren't wearing ear protection. In a video format like this, it's always kind of hard to uh, explain or showcase sound that really it's impossible. I can't let you hear what I'm hearing. But the sound on these is very good. I have uh, hearing protection, electronic hearing protection, all the way from $20 up to uh, like $350 sets. So um, for the money, these are excellent in terms of sound quality. I mean, when you're talking on the range, with people in a shop breaks, it doesn't just automatically cut off everything like a lot of the lower end ones do. Um, that's not a huge thing, but it's certainly nice that these ones will only cut off above a certain frequency. So when someone's talking to you and you, uh, you or someone else around you breaks off a shot, their voice doesn't get completely muted. So that's certainly one nice thing. And, and overall, the sound quality is very clear as well. Uh, the fit's good. I'm wearing it here with a hat, sort of just to showcase. And uh, you guys have seen footage, obviously, of me shooting with hats on, uh, that the cups do a good job of sealing. Um, they do offer um, some gel cups for these, but I believe those are like $50-ish. Um, so you are increasing the cost of the unit if you get those, but the ones that come with it are very serviceable in my opinion. For those of you who spend a lot of time with them, um, 
you may want to upgrade them, but that's really a personal choice. But uh, as they come, I think they're very good and very useful. So uh, you get a good seal. They're not too bulky. I believe they stick out just over, a, or just under, I should say, an inch and three quarters off the side of your head. So uh, getting a good cheek weld with rifles and shotguns is, is not problematic at all like it is with some of the larger ones. But overall, they're just a really nice set of hearing protection and, you know, I think these came out in 2008, 2007. Back then, they were like 150 bucks. So the sound is, uh, the price has come down, so it makes them, you know, more affordable for a lot of folks out there. And I think, especially folks that are going to be wearing these for a long time, like hunters or something like that, um, they're a really good option for them. If you guys uh, have any questions about these that I didn't cover here, because I'm sure there's something out there I didn't, uh, you can always post below in the comment section. You can also post over at my Facebook page as always. But thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing, and I hope to see you in the next video.